All right. So now we've got the body and the head connected. That doesn't mean they make perfect sense yet. So for instance, you want to see what the spine is doing and see that it makes sense. It doesn't make sense for mine that this wing would be behind the ear. And that's because the spine is kind of turning on itself there. So what I'm going to do is now make a duplicate of this head. Say Command-J to that whole folder. Turn off the one below. And then I am going to layer, merge the layers of that folder. So it's now one thing. Now I've still got all my, my different individual components there. But now with this, I can play with making a duplicate of that and moving it behind the body. Not into the body, but behind the body. There we go. And then seeing that difference, right? With it, the ear being overlapped. So I'll keep that there for now. And now I'll use this layer. I'm safe to erase away at 100% opacity from that ear. I'm not losing that ear for all time. Because I might want to animate this creature later and, and have that ear there. And then I can also start getting rid of those hard edges. And blending this in. Like I don't need to see the back as much. Because these shoulders come in. Okay, so now I'm going to take it down to a lower opacity and start transitioning it. Now, I can keep erasing, but the problem is the head of the original bat is going to come through then. So I'm going to show you another way to now blend where I don't have enough, because I don't have enough overlap. But I don't want this to be purely this, and I don't want this to be purely this. I want it to be kind of a combination. And for that, I'm going to use something called the clone stamp. But I'm going to do that after I've cleanly cut out the tail and I can merge everything into a, to something I can understand a little bit better. So let's cut out this tail now. First, I'm going to use my magic wand. I'm just going to take out a chunk here, which is like the bottom edge of the tail I want. And I'm going to take it away from the body layer, from that tail layer. And I use a three pixel feather and then I hit delete a few times and it will soften and give me that edge. Works quite well on these high resolution pixel assets. Always a little bit of a feather. And I don't think I actually want the tail to be as long as this tail is. So I'm going to let it taper off right there. <coughs> nope. Darn it. <laughs> Make sure you have enough room on your screen to uh, complete the loops you need. I'm going to taper it off right there. Now this is an, an instance where the reference is pretty blurry. 
because the tail wasn't as in focus as other parts of it. But I want that to be pretty sharp. So before I cut it out, I'm going to use the sharpen tool. Pressure sensitivity, all these tools we're using in very similar ways. Large brush, 0% hardness, even though we're sharpening. And I'm just going to hit that edge. I'm not going to do it everywhere. But what the sharpen tool does is it artificially increases the contrast at the edge between pixels that are different from each other. So if you use it too much, like I do right here, you'll still start to get a lot of digital noise. That doesn't look good, right? But I needed it a little bit on this edge so I can help define those, those little spikes on the tail. So I'm just hitting it right at the edge. And now, instead of going in and sawtoothing with my, la with my lasso, I should be able to use the magic wand with contiguous turned on. Slow going. My goodness. I can even try turning contiguous off. Well, why it's being so resistant. It's because probably of the feather. Yeah, it kind of works. And then I can then go in and back that up with my lasso. And I don't need to be as perfectly accurate. Problem with the magic wand is it leaves like all this debris that you have to clear out. But it can speed things up sometimes under the right conditions. And those are the only two selection tools I'm going to teach you directly. So the magic wand with all of its settings and the lasso. Because the others sometimes work well and often don't work well. Like the quick selection tool, the object selection tool, the magnet lasso but you can experiment with them on your own. Because it's already soft, I'm gonna take my pixel, my feather down to only two pixels. Because I'm basically feathering something that's already softened. Yeah, that's better. And just like with a mountain ridge or something else, it's organic. I can find my own line. I just don't want to leave any of that, that background in there. Or my tail. And then most of this is covered up by the leg anyway. But it'd be good if I have a good tail reference for animating purposes later. So don't erase more than you need. And then this, I should be able to use the magic wand for this. I'm just going to up the tolerance to 32. I'll have contiguous turned off. I select all the blues, but I'm going to take the feather down to only one pixel. And I'm going to select all the blues. Hold down shift. Add them in. Try to select them all. Got to get them all. But instead of hitting delete, I'm actually going to use my eraser at 100%. So I'm using this selection now as kind of a, a stencil or a mask. I will not teach you clipping masks because you can do it all with selections. Clipping masks are like indirect versions of that. 
So is where some classes in Photoshop just will do everything with clipping masks as a way of being non-destructive. I find them incredibly indirect and confusing. All right, and so I've got these little hint of blue still on this tail, and some of those I just don't like, and I got to get rid of them. I actually don't mind the little spines here on the back. I can leave those. But what I can also do is, like I did with the green in the owl's feathered horns, is I could use hue saturation to take the color out of this blue and replace it with something else that matches the tail better. So once I've gotten some of, these are called undercuts, taking care of the little shapes that should have background showing through on these really persnickety tail spines. Then I can take that little kind of halo of blue down just by selecting blue in hue saturation and shifting its color to something else. So just a couple more undercuts. Last one. All right, so now what do I do now? I'm on the right layer. I go to image adjustment, hue saturation, and I select blue and saturate it. You see all those blues, right? So I can just take that saturation down and I can even darken it, just the blues, so that they don't interfere anymore. You can even shift its tone a little bit more towards the reds. All right. So now I've got it all cut out. There's just little things like right there. I've turned off my sketch so I can see it clearly. I'm going to use my two pixel feather and get the toes cleaned. All right, and now I've basically got all my external edges where I want them. So this is what I do. I turn off the background. I go to my very top layer and I'm going to make a copy that merges all of these together. So this is how you do it in photo P. You have to select each layer you want to keep. It's a good time to save. And honestly, it's a good time to crop because I don't need, now that I've got the head and the body together, I don't need all that extra space. And when I crop now, I want to check my image size to make sure I'm at least 8 by 10 inches by at least 300. And I'm 17 by 19 by 300, so I'm, I'm great. Okay, now, I don't need to be on the crop tool anymore. I'm going to select with shift all of these layers that are showing. I can do it with command as well. Okay, then I'm going to hold down Option and go to Layer, Merge Layers while I'm holding down Option. What that does, because I held down Option, it doesn't close these layers or delete them. It just gives me one that's combined on top of everything else. Incredibly helpful. I turn back on my background back on. And then I'm going to make a duplicate of that. So I can call it Combined and then make a duplicate, Command-J. Now on this duplicate, I am going to dodge and burn it. But before I do that, I needed to fix this, because this doesn't 